do things God's way. I'm going to flash 1 Corinthians 10.13 to you one last time. And Ralph, if you can help me, that'd be great. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man. Now look at the rest of that verse. And God's faithful. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Stop there. I can't handle this temptation. God believes in you more than you believe in yourself. God knows where the ceiling is for you. And God knows what the ceiling is for for Kelly. And God knows what the ceiling is for Paula. And God knows what the ceiling is for Bruce. And, And our ceilings might look different, but God knows what they are. And whatever temptation that we might face, God knows where to cap that off. So you will not be tempted beyond what you can bear. And that alone is good news. But there's more. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out. Every, every temptation, God, God didn't bring the temptation, but he brought the escape route. Oh, should have been a way bigger amen there. See, <laughs> because we, we think God's got it out to get it, and he doesn't. The, the enemy's trying to destroy us, but here, here's the deal. God's not saying, oh no, they're tempted. Mm. I hope they make it. God's a lot more active. So when temptation comes, God says, here's the way out. Phil, here's the way out. Go this way. Shut your mouth. (laughs) Just being honest with you. Switch the channel. Turn that off. Go this way. Don't go in that store anymore. Do, what's he saying to you? What's he saying to you, friend? Joseph, what's he saying to you? See, because he's provided a way out. And, and, and all too often we've, we've focused on the flames of, of temptation. Ooh, how close can I get without getting burned? And, and, and God is saying, get away from that fire. Here's the way out. So when temptation comes, However it looks like for me, however it looks like for you, those of you watching online, whatever it looks like, God has already provided a way out so that you don't have to give in. So if you think it's too strong for you, by yourself it is. With God, it's not. Take his escape route. It's time to do things God's way. Joseph reached the palace because he was able to, to say no to the desperate housewife. I don't know what desperate housewives exist in your life. I don't know what temptations exist in your life, but God has provided a way out. And you can stand, you can stand, you can stand. God has provided a way out. And I want to pray for the temptations, for the desperate housewives, for the the lure of sin that that you're confronted with. I, I want to pray that God helps each and every one of us within the sound of my voice to defeat this thing and to do things the Lord's way. Amen?